Hey, Welcome World Entertainment, and we're about to have a look at a trailer. Yep, the trailer for none other than the John Wick spin-off, Ballerina, starring Ana de Armas. And it's called, officially it's called, From the World of John Wick, Ballerina. So, let's take a look at this trailer. Do you like her dogs? I know a school where they teach dances. I could take you there if you'd like. To stop the assassin, you must become the assassin. You will always be weaker. You will always be smaller. You want to win? Improvise. Adapt. Cheat. Welcome to the Cotimeter. Eve Macaro, the Ruscaroma. What a pleasure to see you again. You have no idea what you just walked into. They killed my father. This isn't done until they're dead. Fate. Is a very humbling thing. You are him. The one they call the Baba Yaga. How do I start doing what you do? Looks like you already have. And there you go. There's the new trailer and the first official trailer for Ballerina. Now, this movie was meant to come out a while ago and they did uh, press pause because they wanted to rework a lot of the action scenes, they said. Um, and by the looks of it, it paid off because this trailer looks great. Not gonna lie, it looks great. And they do the one thing that I appreciate is they immediately confirm how this small woman can take on big guys because you have that line straight away in there where she's getting told by their teacher, you know, you will always be weaker, you will always be smaller, you gotta adapt, you gotta overcome. And then basically says, you just got to cheat. And that's the thing. Even the Continental, the series um, that was on Amazon, at least this side of the world, it was on Amazon. I think it was on Amazon in the States as well. Um, th there was a fight scene with young Winston, his brother and the brother's wife, the Asian woman. Can't remember what the characters were called. But she's taking on this big, huge guy. And uh, like I did a review, I'm pretty sure I did reviews on it. And she ends up in the kitchen with the guy in this small apartment. And she starts using the environment to her advantage. You know, she's climbing up on the counters. She's using the pots and pans. And she ends up sticking his hand into the garbage disposal. And while he's stuck in that, while he's chewing up his hand, she gets an iron and just clocks him to either knock him out or kill him. And I was like, good, you actually did the proper thing. You knew this small woman could not take on this guy that size so they did the uh, you got to use your environment and this is exactly what they're doing with this which works perfectly um the the look of it is very obviously the john wick aesthetic and stuff is still there which is great it's cool to see ian mcshane reprising the role of winston in there and um, it it is sad to see but it's also great to see, but it is sad to see Lance Riddick when he pops up in this trailer. 
you know, as soon as you see him, you're like, ah, poor Lance. Um, but again, even when you see her in the fight scene um, with the guy when she kind of wraps herself around him and he's putting her on, like hitting her on the table, it looks like it's in some sort of bar or maybe restaurant or something. Um, you see how even there she uses the environment because he smashes her through that glass, but she's holding on to that and she just lets her weight go over that, uh, I don't know what that is, a divider between tables. To break his arm you know it's good to see angelica hudson back in there uh, obviously as the character she was in was it john wick part two or three that she was in i think it was two i can't remember which one it was she was in um the training montage of where they're being told you know cheat and stuff and she's kicking the dude in and the short and curlies not once but twice you know <laughs> seeing her getting armed up um I see Gabriel Byrne is in, in uh, this movie in some capacity. Um, I did in school when I was, I think I was nine, nine or ten, maybe eleven. I did a drama class, and we ended up doing a movie. We were extras in a movie, and Gabriel Byrne was actually one of the stars of that movie. So was Matt Dillon. So I actually did a scene that involved was around Gabriel Byrne. Now, he got on a bus in the scene. I was one of the kids playing up in the corner. Uh, did interact with Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Dillon. Sorry. Um, he was cool. And um, If you're wondering, by the way, that movie was called Frankie Starlight. It was, it was about a dwarf. <laughs> it was set in the Second World War. His mother fled from France to Ireland. And then she goes from Ireland to America. Um, if you're wondering don't know where the hell you can find that movie um but whatever i just just thought i'd throw that in there um did the, the action looks great in this trailer you know the color palette looks great as well you know again very john wick which is good because if you're going to do a spin-off you know there's often times we see spin-offs happen where they don't keep the aesthetic of the main franchise which you, you kind of understand because they want to establish their own thing but at the same time it kind of removes it from those worlds where this very much sticks with the um whole aesthetic and stuff seeing john wick in there as well is great um it's funny because you see that one clip of him walking down the stairs which is clearly taken from uh one of the movies again it was either the second or third whichever one angelica hudson was in because it's clearly one of those scenes of them walking but then we see him getting off the train and her asking the question like are you the one they called the Baba yaga and stuff which is cool and you know is she gonna get a little bit of training off john wick which would also make a bit of sense but even you see a scene with her with a few guys and like She's using the kind of momentum to get the knife into the guy. Now she's using that same guy as a shield against the other guy and whatnot. So they're very much leaning into the the whole, yep, yeah, you got to kind of use your environments and stuff, which makes this even more believable. And I'm not saying there needs to be sex scenes or anything, but you're definitely in a position with a woman like Anna de Armas that you have to use her femininity to make our way in some of these situations which kind of looks like maybe she is in that kind of nightclub scene which when you look at that that she's fighting a woman in that scene she's not fighting other people and of course she does the john wick thing of instantly pulls out the weapons and starts going to town with shooting them yeah i'll definitely be giving this one a, a check when it comes out i should say check out when it comes out <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I like this trailer and interested to see more. So let us know in the comments what you think of the trailer. Are you interested in it? Um, it it's not getting rated by any means on its trailer. It's 234,000 upvotes to 5.2 thousand downvotes. The comment section seems to be uh, pretty much um, positive, you know. Uh, a few in there about Lance Riddick, of course, and a few mentioning John Riddick. John Riddick, John Wick, and a few in there but talking about John Wick, asking like, will he only be in that one scene? So it's not getting ratioed, and it looks like people are actually interested in this. So yeah, bring it on. 
So with that, let us know in the comments what you think about it. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Cheers, and I shall catch you in the next one.